Okay, um, just wanted to shoot a quick video because I know some people have been asking about uh, all the different electronics that I'm adding <clears throat> to my helmet and to the, uh, the Mandalore visor or the Mandalore mask over the front of my helmet. Um, so I'm going to do just a quick video here, um, probably a couple minutes long, just so everybody can kind of see what's what I've done and kind of get a full appreciation of um, what's going, what all is going into my helmet as far as electronics go. So first we'll go ahead and start with um, the mask or the, the, the blast shield. Um, originally behind the visor I was going to have um, several, I had several banks of LEDs that were going to shine down on the acrylic here and kind of give it a soft blue glow. Uh, because of the space, the amount of space between the visor and my actual helmet, I'm just not able to have all those banks in and be able to lift or for, for the visor to actually actually come up um, because the visor does you know it, you can lift it up above the helmet and slide it back down over the helmet kinda like a you know like a blast shield like you see in a new hope um, but anyway so I had to take the LEDs out but it was no big deal um, I'm gonna try to figure out something else to do uh, later on with those because the good thing about um, this visor is that you know it's pretty it's pretty versatile in the back here you know that you can run all kinds of wires and such in here anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and show what um, what all I've added I've put these ear ear pieces on the sides that taper down as you can see they uh, inside of each one I'm gonna bring this up closer and see if you can see it it's it's kinda hard to see but let me hold it up to the light here there you go that little uh, that little component in there that you see is a um, a microphone, an Electret microphone. So on, I've got one on the other side as well, right there. And those pick up um, all ambient noise in front and behind. Anything that can that can go through this these channels, it will pick up. And inside the helmet inserts that actually go into my helmets as you can see right here this is an earpiece this slides down over my ear when I put the helmet on and it sits just about flush with my ear uh, with the inside or with with the you know with the um, the ear channel or the ear canal whatever you want to call it um, this is a small battery door where you put the 9 volt battery in that controls um, what this powers which is it powers uh, the fan system um, the, uh, the air conditioning system inside my helmet and that's what the little vent is there where you can see the circuitry in the air actually blows out through there um, around my around my cheek and, in, and to the front of my face um, that little circuitry system is the actual um, sound amplifier that runs into this um, this is an act actually an old uh, telephone uh, ear earpiece so um, I just took the it's the speaker and the little uh, rubber uh, casing that's inside the telephone uh, handle. So it's from, you know, we got we we switched out our telephone system at work and we had tons of these old telephones, these old digital telephones that we didn't do anything with, but literally like throw away. So uh, I grabbed up a few of those handsets and several of the or a few of the the bases on them because I can use the electronics, strip them out and that kind of thing. Uh, this right here goes out to the microphone in the visor, and I'll just turn it around here so you can kind of see. As you can see, I did a, a lot of wiring in a small space. It was not the funnest thing, but it works well, and it does what it needs to do. So um, what will happen is that uh, I will be putting a magnet. When I put these, when I set these in, in the actual helmet, um, on the inside here, there will be a little magnet a little uh, thin hard drive magnet that sits back here on the helmet so the battery can actually sit um, nice and flush or nice and tight in there and not I don't have to worry about it falling out um, I'll probably have some sort of securement method for these little doors probably you know I may use magnets on those as you can see I gotta be uh, I got some I still gotta work out some issues with these pins here uh, I'll probably put a little dab of hot glue or something at the bottom so that they can they won't they won't fall out like that one looks like it's it's about to do so can't have that happening that would be bad um, and I'll go ahead and hop down here to the helmet now none of this stuff is secure in here yet I've just been testing the sizing and, and how it's all gonna fit um, of course there's my voice amp the same voice amp I've had for 
you know, <laughs> pretty much since the, the beginning of my Mando costuming. That thing is about six years old, and it's seen, this is the third helmet I've had it in. So, um, once these things are permanently down here, there won't be any clearance between the bottom. Sorry, there won't be any clearance between the bottom. It'll be totally sealed up. Um, as you can see, I've got the wires running through a nice nice piece of, of flex conduit here, and I'll have it on the other side. People say, oh my god, how does your head fit in this helmet? Well, it does fit. It barely fits in, but it's it sits right in. It's nice and comfy. I still have to put some padding in. You can see where I've had padding in here before, and I'm still going to... Well, you probably can't see it, but anyway, there you go. There's the, the Velcros in there where my padding still goes. So, um, up here... You can see where the wiring harnesses are. Those are all back in this recessed area, which is back back here where the fin is. So those don't even come close to my head. I had the power supply for my microphone sitting back there uh, all the way through Celebration Dragon Con, and it was even sitting so, you know, it was, it was uh, vertical. So it was, you know, my head never touched it. And my head doesn't even touch this. So if my head doesn't touch this, it's definitely not going to touch anything else back there. Um, as you can see, there's the fans. I had 360 degree sound, but I took the speakers out of these right here. You can see they're still open. I've got to put the grates back in front of them. The reason why is because it actually didn't make that much difference. Um, after between or after C6 and Dragon Con, um, you know, I tested it all through those those major conventions to see if it really made a difference. It didn't. It actually reduces the speed, the sound coming out of the front. So I am going to leave the front speakers in since they're the bigger speakers. They're now getting the full power, so they should be much nicer and much louder than they have been in the past. Um, I'm gonna have to paint all these inserts pretty much by hand. I do have an airbrush. I'll, you know, I'm gonna. I've got um, some metallic airbrush paint, so I'm probably going to. Uh, tape out everything on here um, that doesn't need to be metallically painted <laughs> and um, painted up. So both of them are going to get a nice paint job and that way they will look very in universe. I'm probably going to cover up these. I'm, I'm debating on if I want to cover cover these fans. Um, I may cover them with mesh just to give them a more, you know, maybe a little bit more covered look. But as they stand now, they blow right into these channels, right in through here, and then the air comes out through here. So it's actually really a really neat setup. Uh, works out pretty well. Um, back to the mask. Uh, I had to build a custom a custom battery magazine here that fits on the top of the insert that's in my helmet now. Um, basically, what this does is. Um, you can see there's an antenna here on the side. It's just static. It doesn't really do anything. But on this side, I don't know if you can see it. I've got it concealed pretty well, but right up here is an ultra bright LED. And I'll plug this in. See, there's a little switch right here on the side that I can click to flip this on. Give me just a second here. It's kind of hard to control this thing and Anyway, I've got all these, I've made all these little micro connections. As you can see, see there's a little micro connection this thing plugs into. We'll take this over to the light and I will show you exactly how bright it is. You have to excuse the messiness of my shop. I have not really had adequate time to clean this shop since before C6. So, anyway, I'm going to turn the light off. We're going to cut this ultra bright LED on and you get to see how bright the light is that comes out of my helmet or the visor. It's pretty darn bright. I mean, it, it illuminates pretty good. So, definitely, um, you know, it's bright enough for what I need. And I'll turn it around here so you can kind of see how... See, that's pretty, pretty daggum bright. That's uh, three AAA batteries, which would be... 4.5 volts so anyway I just thought that'd be a nice little addition there's always you know I always love to put cool little knickknacks and stuff together like that and you know on the other one I can always maybe add something down the road I don't know because I have these um I have these these pieces on the sides these ear caps on the sides um, I have those things pretty much epoxied down um, you can still you can still see right there where the epoxy is. I've got to paint that. I've got to paint all these 
I'll probably make them this darker uh, bronze color that's on the front so that it all matches. But anyway, so that's pretty much what um, what I've got going on with my helmet and my um, my vi or my mask, blast shield, whatever you want to call it. I call it my Mandalore mask because I'm the only one that wears it. So anyway, um, so yeah, I uh, hope everybody has a great new year and we'll see you on the Mercs boards.